Good morning. This is a live demo from NAB 2022. For those that can't make it, uh, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of one of our new technologies, the Flowcaster Live Workflow System. There are going to be uh, three of these videos if you want to check our site on YouTube. Just search for Flowcaster TV. And uh, the first one we're going to look at is the live edit review. So, Flowcaster is a collaborative system for uh, building reviews around video and audio in a professional production environment. Uh, the Flowcaster Live website is the heart of those, these workflows and the Flowcaster plugins are the enablers. So uh, if you go to the Flowcaster Live site you can log in and create a new session. I will do Flowcaster demo which I'm already in. And what you get is your normal shared environment for doing collaborative work. Very similar to a Google Meet or a Zoom call. Uh, everyone can have their picture, they can talk, uh, they can make comments and chat with each other, um, and they can basically work together. Now, where it gets interesting is its connection back into the creative software. If I go to my uh, Adobe Premiere in this case, uh, you can see I have a basic timeline up and I'm viewing the viewer. Uh, what I can do is actually send everything I'm working on as a third monitor into my shared session. So if I go to my Edit Preferences Playback, where the output boards are kept, there will be a Flowcaster transmitter entry for video and for audio. And if I go into that setup, I can actually take the address of my meeting online and put that directly into my configuration. It will now connect with these parameters. It's going to use uh, H.264 and IPP for low latency. Uh, it's going to connect via WebRTC. Uh, there are another number of other formats that you can send out uh, with the Flowcaster plugin, but for collaborative work, the WebRTC is the correct one. Um, you can also select how the audio is handled. Uh, you can burn in time code, which I'm doing, and you can burn in a watermark, which I'm also doing. So once that's connected, I can play here in Adobe and then go back to my connection, and it is playing inside of my session as a third monitor. If I click on it, I can get a large picture of that, and the really interesting part of this is that we are also sending from Adobe the time code. So down in the lower left you can see we have the actual time code of the timeline and what that means is that anytime I make a comment it is time code marked with that time code that it happened at uh, which keeps everything in sync in terms of people's comments and other information they want to send about the edit session. So I'm going to pause this for a sec. And there's a number of other collaborative tools you can use. There's a number of drawing tools. So I can go in and select a color. And then I can draw just with a normal pen. Or I can do uh, line segments. I can draw arrows. Put in boxes and do undo and erase and even add um, text elements uh, with various sizes and opacities and uh, font sizes. So all of these drawings now are also tied to this time code. So if I bring up the Adobe Premiere again, you can see that um, if I move away from this time code, the drawings disappear and then if I play and come back here at the exact time code that the drawings were made they reappear and the comments also highlight as they go through all of the time code comments. Now for the editor he can be using a session just like I'm using here inside of a browser but we also have a panel plugin for Adobe and that allows you to basically log into a session like the Flowcaster demo 
and then it'll bring it up as a live preview inside of Adobe. And the advantage of this is that any drawings, any comments, anything else show up now directly inside of that panel and can also be set as markers within the uh, Adobe Edit timeline. So now the editor only has to look at the system he's working in, the system he's working at to get all the information he needs to make the changes. Now once the uh, session is finished, the session can be saved out. We can export the session either as a native drastic slash Adobe session with all the drawings and markers or as Avid Resolve or Frame.io sessions. And with Frame.io, Frame we translate our drawings to their drawings so they also show up in that environment. So once I download the session, then I can go back into Adobe Premiere, go to my Import Export, and simply import the session back into Adobe. Also, sessions can be reloaded. So if a session is partially worked on one day, you can actually re-import those sessions back into a live session. Uh, so you can continue working on them. You can also do your normal presenting at the desktop and recording of, of the whole session. Finally, the most important part of this system is security. So the Flowcaster system and Flowcaster Live were designed security first. So if you're working with our website, we never have access to any of your video, comments, audio, time code, anything. Our website is simply a broker for our tools that connect each of the individual participants to each other. It's using the WebRTC technology so that it's fully, uh, fully encrypted and safe and point to point. So the video gets sent from your browser to the other person's browser and from your editor to all the browsers without hitting our website. Finally, if that is not enough security for your particular application, the server itself is available. So we will sell the server into your facility where you set up your own server and put it behind your security so that only your people can get access to it at all and it still works by encrypting everything that is going back and forth so that people who are even in your facility who don't have uh, permissions or access into the systems can't get access to what you're working on. So that is the Edit Live or Live Edit workflow. You can check it out yourself at www.flowcaster.live or you can check out our plugins and more information at www.flowcaster.com. Thanks very much for your time and have a great nab.